Okay, so we're given this line, 2x minus 3y equals 12, and we're given this 0.61, and we wanna find the equation of the line that's perpendicular to it and goes through this point. So I'm gonna show you two different methods, and just a quick refresher, we've got our uh, two forms of the equation of the line here, y equals mx plus b, as well as the point slope form. I'll show you both methods. The first thing we wanna do, though, is if we have a line, and we wanna find a line that's perpendicular to it, the first thing we have to do is find the slope of that original line. So to do that, we're gonna rewrite it in the slope intercept form by getting y by itself. So we're gonna subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. So that gives us negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. We're gonna divide everything by negative three because we wanna get that y by itself. So you can see we're getting y equals positive 2 thirds because the two negatives cancel. Uh, y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. Okay, so now we can see that our slope is that number that's in front of the x. And if we want to find the slope of the perpendicular line, we're going to have to take the opposite reciprocal, meaning that we're going to have to change a sign and we're going to have to flip that fraction. But we don't know the b value. We don't know where it crosses the y axis. But that's why they give us this point, 6, 1. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the 6 in for x and the 1 in for y so that we can solve for our y-intercept, so we can solve for our b value. So here we've got 1 equals negative 3 halves times 6, which is like 6 over 1, plus b. So this gives us negative 18 over 2, which is negative 9. And if we add 9 to both sides of the equation, you can see that b is coming out to positive 10. So we just have to put that back in and we've got our equation of our perpendicular line, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 10. Now you're probably saying, Mario, wouldn't this be a lot easier if I just used the point slope form? And you can certainly do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got our point, which is 6, 1. So you put 1 in for y and 6 in for x. And then our slope, we figured out, was the opposite reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is negative 3 over 2. Now all you have to do is distribute the negative 3 halves add the one to their side to get y by itself, and you're gonna get the same equation we did here. If you wanna learn more about equations of lines, check out the playlist I put for you right there, and I'll see you over in those videos.